Hello, everyone, and welcome to the latest double webinar entitled Comply to Win, answering the compliance mandate in regulated industries. My name is Theo Tita. I'm the VP of Sales for the Asia Pac region within Dubbo, and I'm going to be your host for today's webinar. Um, in a few minutes, I'm going to be handing over to Andy Lark, who's our Chief Customer Officer. Um, before we get started, just um, a bit of context setting. Uh, from a Dubbo perspective, we are obviously really keen that everyone consumes double call recording and voice intelligence um, data out of those calls. And in some respects, um, everyone should. But I think when we think about routes to market and where the pain points are and where the business insights really get driven, it often starts with a compliance mandate. And therefore, when we're talking to our partners and also their end customers, the area that is a bit of a no brainer when it comes to switching on the call recording and the unified voice recording that sits within Dubba, um, the ability to do that within a compliance environment and a regulated environment is really compelling. But then also, as we broaden the ambition and look at some of the, the key areas that we can support when it comes to actually looking at the, the data that sits behind the core recording from an AI perspective, it's really compelling. And therefore, when Andy kind of talks to you in, in a minute around this concept of ending compliance uncertainty, again, some of those themes sit not only within compliance, but in the broader marketplace. But as I said, we do really encourage partners um, to look at their own customer base and especially when it comes to regulated industries because we think it's a really compelling message but also there's a huge amount of value that we can add broader than just compliant core recording so we'll get into that in a bit more detail in today's session um, in terms of andy's um, component uh, as i said about 20 minutes um, as you can see on screen um, he'll be looking at things like the obviously the, uh, the right questions that we need to kind of pose to uncover the opportunities how easy unified voice recording can be switched on in terms of the enablement of that within the within the end customer communities. Then moving on to look at the benefits of storing all of that data in the cloud and therefore how do you actually aggregate that with existing enterprise data. And then last but not least, looking at the core recording and voice intelligent conversations and how you actually make that into proof points within the within the business issues that we're looking to identify and fix through our partners and obviously um, generate incremental and additional revenue and opportunities for, for our partner base as they serve their own customers. I'll then come back for the last 10 minutes and really look at sort of, you know, five fundamental questions really or key questions that we think every customer should be posed and we'll kind of unpack why um, in that 10 minutes. As I said, for those of you who haven't attended a uh, webinar hosted by Dubber, there's also, hopefully you can see it on screen, a chat function that allows you to pose questions through the session, please do so. Um, if we don't get to it in this particular session, we'll capture them at the end and make sure that they're answered as part of the, the post-session follow-up. But as for now, um, uh, sit tight and I'll hand over to Andy and um, look forward to seeing you again in about 20 minutes time. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Andy Lark, uh, Chief Customer Officer here at Dubba and i um, thrilled to be here with you today to talk about how compliance is driving demand globally uh, for unified communication solutions of every shape and size. What's really important to understand, though, is compliance is more than something just faced by the customer. It's also an incredible opportunity for channel partners uh, globally to drive differentiation, revenue, and improve their retention. Simply put, compliance is a must-have across so many industry sectors. And many of us think about financial services when we think about compliance, but it also extends into travel, entertainment, hospitality, uh, right the way through to gambling and wagering. It's an opportunity to land in, inside an opportunity or an account with a proposition around compliance and then also expand that to the rest of the business. Because within each business, there's this enormous demand now for revenue, people, customer, and compliance intelligence. And as you think about that, the most important thing to understand here, and I hope that you take away from today, is that this is about more than call recording. This is about how you take voice data, voice content, and transform it into meaningful insights to power businesses. And if you think about the shift going on globally, we're moving from a world in which we're simply providing connections to trying to mine and derive value from the content in those connections. And as we do that, we get greater context to in a whole variety of different business scenarios. It could be a sales leader trying to understand 
what's been said, what's been committed, is a salesperson using the right techniques and approaches through to a large scale financial institution looking to prove that in fact they do know their customer and they do understand that customer well enough um, to be able to use it for compliance purposes and other needs. Today, financial institutions in particular, whether you're an independent financial advisor, a mortgage broker, a trader existing in, a, in, a, in an, an investment turret within a large financial institution, are faced with a whole spectrum of compliance challenges. Normally, those challenges are multi-geography and multi-regulator. Um, COVID has meant that I've gone from being able to guarantee that I'm recording on landlines into an office or a call center to being faced with multitude of endpoints, um, normally across unified communication solutions. At the same time, I'm being hit by regulators and auditors who are wanting me to investigate and provide information in, in as close to real time as possible. That's caused compliance costs to blossom, to data and um, devices to disperse right across the enterprise. So I'm dealing with trying to mine data coming out of a call center. I'm trying to grab data off mobile phones. I'm trying to capture WhatsApp conversations. The, the list goes on of, of, of where I've got to go to get my hands on that data. And if I'm looking then to mitigate risks, I'm not looking so much for a rear view mirror of what happened. I'm looking for a forward view based upon what's happening right now in the business through continuous compliance. I need that real time lens. And that's resulted, all these different factors have come together to result in something we call the compliance chasm. Now, one of the things to understand here is the implications of not doing this are severe. Um, this is 2019 data, but still relevant today and only increasing $150 million in fines globally um, show, uh, levied for compu um, communications compliance monitoring, right? These, these are people who have failed to meet their communications compliance monitoring obligations or infringed against the related regulations. And this gets even more significant when you consider that more than 80% of crucial conversations today are voice and augmented then with digital. Less than 10% of these crucial conversations are often captured due to the limits of legacy core recording and the explosion of new communications platforms. Um, we tend to limit based on storage. We limit based on the availability of recording on an endpoint. And today, the majority of these conversations are starting to edge well outside of the call center as we're increasingly working from home or in hybrid workplaces. The implications here are significant, right? The, 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 the cost of non-compliance in business is almost 2.71 times that um, of the cost of effective compliance management. So if you're out selling Microsoft Teams today, for instance, and presenting that to a customer, the cost of them not having call recording embedded effectively as part of that sol solution is significantly greater than the cost of actually doing and implementing it. The best way to think about compliance is it has many different levels. And as you increase up these levels and you look to address compliance requirements, the intensity of the requirement and the complexity only accelerate. It starts with knowing the customer. It starts with being able to prove that you have the right and proper conversation with the customer. Then did you capture the data in a compliant way? Now, there's a lot of solutions out there that come with a record button in them, but many of these solutions fail to meet basic data compliance mandates and privacy mandates globally. Um, they don't assure you of sovereignty. They don't assure you of security over the data. They don't assure you that within those conversations of things such as credit card information are, uh, is provided, that it's appropriately redacted. And then you get into transaction compliance with, uh, with mandates such as PCI, and then scale all the way through to deep regulatory compliance mandates. And all of these matter if you're a chief risk and compliance officer, and all of them can be satisfied on Microsoft Teams today. So when you do that and you start drilling into each of these compliance mandates, many different elements uh, start surfacing, things such as direct capture and retention requirements, which could be as long as up to seven years. 
uh, know your customer obligations, which uh, enable you to prove good and quality communications with the customer. Um, proactive monitoring uh, demands from regulators now. So they're not asking, but you're proactively monitoring. You could be doing that through things such as keyword alerts on conversations. Um, so the spectrum of requirements that sits underneath these different compliance mandates are vast, and they get you through to very, very simple conversations with customers that enable you to drive differentiation against competing solutions in the market today. What's also important to understand is that at the start of COVID, some of these requirements were put on pause. So um, um, the FCA in the UK, for instance, said, you know, we're going to pause the requirement around call recording uh, due to COVID. We understand that it's harder to do now that folks aren't in the office. Well, today those requirements are off pause. So there's an even greater demand now as we have to deal with a dominantly hybrid workplace for people to quickly and easily be able to implement compliant call recording. And that's a really important set of words because a lot of the solutions you see in the market today don't offer compliant call recording. In fact, Dubber Today is one of the few globally that you can be guaranteed is offering you a compliant call recording solution. And with some more than 61% of financial services CFOs planning to make remote work permanent for roles that allow it, that need for compliant call recording only becomes more and more important. And when you look at these um, compliance leaders in large financial institutions today, they're faced with a whole range of different challenges. Um, on, on, on average, they're spending an enormous amount of time every week just tracking and an analyzing regular developments, keeping pace with what's going on, on out there. So there's enormous burden to keep pace. And that's one of the things we help with globally is constantly providing updates on how Dubbard can help you satisfy new and more emerging mandates globally. So if you're out selling and you've got questions and, uh, and a customer needs help around what regulations they should be thinking of in terms of recording and voice data as a service, um, we can lean in and, and help you with that. Critically, many of these um, uh, compliance leaders globally actually rate their performance is just okay. So when you think is of more than 50% of financial institutions globally, only satisfying it with an okay or a poor score, um, many looking at good but uh, doing better, this is a significant opportunity to take customers into the very good uh, standing they should have with regulators around the world. Also, when you look at the broader IT landscape, what CIOs have on their mind, you can see compliance is right out there at the top. And in fact, the first of these two items, like providing accurate data for business decision making and compliance are, are, are completely interlinked. And what's interesting is once you've implemented unified call recording, you're able to address nearly all of these at scale because suddenly, the vast majority of these voice conversations that underpin customer interactions are now captured, they're centralized, they're in one place, they have voice data running on them, and suddenly organizations have a significant advantage. So when you think about continuous compliance and how we go about looking at accelerating that on Microsoft Teams, we really think about it in three simple steps. One is, how do you capture call recording at scale? Now, the words unified call recording are quite important to understand. There are all kinds of applications out there that will enable you to do call recording in a silo, but they won't enable you to unify call recordings. So you can open the Dubber app and you can see calls made on a mobile. You can see calls made on Microsoft Teams. You can see the video conference done with the customer all in one place. And you can be assured that that's done with full data compliance, with respect for privacy mandates and more. Second of all, many of the traditional voice data silos prevent you from really knowing. They for prevent you from getting access to core data at scale. And so with Dubba running on Microsoft Teams, you'll get alerts, reports, you'll get early signals of where sentiment is shifting, not just with the employee, but also with the customer. 
And that will enable you to provision very, very powerful reporting and dashboarding. Simple things in here are important to understand. Many of the legacy platforms that approach this problem did so with very rudimentary search. It, it could have taken uh, a compliance manager 20, 30, 40 minutes to write an SQL query to search across voice data and much, much longer for that query to run and yield a result. With Dubber, it's as simple as Google. You can type in a customer name, you could type in a team member's name, you could go searching for keywords across time periods and instantly get access to that vital data that you need to satisfy an investigation or an audit request. And so these three steps are really simple ways of explaining to customers about the enormous value that accessing every single conversation occurring across Microsoft Teams um, has. And, and as they say, if you're, if you're looking for a needle in, in a haystack, you need a great tool uh, to go after those needles and we help you find them with, an, with enormous precision, enormous ease, and enormous speed. So if I come back to the early point, some, some of the customers you will run into will say, well, you know, don't I already do this today? Like I might have an application I can hit record on. We often refer to that as personal app-based call recording. Um, lots of questions around privacy. You often can't enforce the call recording, so you can't say I want all my calls mandated and, and automatically recording for uh, for every one of my lenders, my brokers, my investment bankers or traders or whatever it might be. I'm not really certain where my data went either, so that's not good. I'm not really sure about the security of those customer conversations. Uh, a lot of them end up in, 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 in easily downloadable um, web-based inboxes and things. They could leak and go anywhere. I've got a lot of data limits, so that breaks my ability to uh, enforce call recording. And I really can't get any intelligence, surveillance, or discoverability. So when you shift to this new world of unified call recording, you're able to deliver and answer, uh, deliver to and answer the need for compliance in the business with privacy, enforceability, data sovereignty, data security, the ability to infinitely score, store as many recordings as you need, and then the ability for AI um, engines to go and deliver you intelligence, real-time surveillance, and real-time discoverability. This is what will enable you to drive differentiation, increase revenue, and also to increase retention with your customers because you're providing a complete solution that answers the aggregate need of the business and you're shifting from selling simply more connectivity to different endpoints to actually delivering really powerful business value. So when we look across customers that have done with us globally, um, and some of them we partner with people to enrich the Dubber capability with WhatsApp messaging and messaging from alternate platform, platforms such as, as WeChat. Um, so you can get much more than this um, from Dubber. So this is one of the Switzerland's largest banks looking for road traders and complete, com potential compliance breaches. Now they have 100% visibility of all conversations. Another example, one of Australia's largest banks um, um, to ensure the compliance of traders' conversations, right? We're able to do that globally across multi-geography uh, multi footprints with real ease. Uh, another quick example out of Singapore who needed something up and running literally within days. So the, the emphasis here is these solutions are on with a click. They're native to the solutions such as Microsoft Teams, and they live in the cloud. So flexible, simple to deploy plans enable an organization to pick in and provision the type of plan that they best need uh, to get to a fully compliant state. And once you've done that, you're really ending not knowing um, because any not knowing starts with understanding what's in the conversations we're having every day. You quickly get to proactive compliance, you can resolve disputes, and you have this new intelligence layer running across the business. So how do you get going with, uh, with, with unified call recording on Microsoft Teams? Well, one good way to start is simply include Dubber in every deal, right? We're here to help you sell and quote. Uh, it's a simple and easy add-on for existing customers. 
It affords you instant margin. You can add millions in annual recurring re revenue. You can earn more. We've got a fantastic rewards program, which the team will take you through, that really helps you uh, uh, incentivize and energize your teams around Dubba. We've got deep support on hand from training, market development fronts, co-branded materials and more. Um, but at the end of the day, what I'd emphasize to you all is we're here to help. So we're here to present with you. We can uh, Microsoft Teams in, do any customer presentation you're doing. Whatever you need, we're here to help, and we're here to help you do more on Dubba. Um, so with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us today and, uh, and, and hand back to the team, who I know have got uh, lots more uh, great news to share with you today. Thanks very much. Thank you, Andy. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, and uh, just want to spend the next 10 minutes or so looking at um, the the concept of the um, uncovering of double opportunities by asking five qualification questions and how these apply to pretty much every prospect or customer. But given that we're um, working predominantly in a compliance and regulatory environment today, I wanted to start off with this question here, which is really around compliance. So you can see on screen, hopefully, question number one, do you need to keep records of customer conversations for compliance. And we asked this question for, for a number of reasons. First of all, um, it allows the, the conversation to be actually more than just uh, around banking and financial services and insurance. It allows us to actually approach it from uh, areas outside of finance as well. So it includes, for example, areas like wagering, legal, healthcare, et cetera. And also by targeting the, the theme of compliance across customer conversations what we're doing is actually we're broadening that to be a business issue across the organization as opposed to just being the kind of the traditional domain of core recording and contact center and therefore by surfacing customer conversations around the business we're actually making it a much broader component within within the environment that we're looking to to provide the double core recording and, and AI solutions into. So again, if this is the customer's domain, as in if they're in a compliance world, there's also a good chance that they've also got um, historical solutions that are also quite cumbersome, often quite expensive to, to work with, and they're also labor intensive. And therefore, what we're looking to do here is actually make sure that not only are we kind of um, servicing this kind of customer conversations piece um, at a broader level, but also looking at the secondary questions here. So for example, is the way you capture and store course compliant? Do you store these in a central repository? Really plays into, into the heart of what Dubber does and, and obviously the value we bring. So again, you can see the answer on screen there, capture and store 100% of calls compliantly to meet both privacy and data sovereignty requirements. So again, the privacy and the data sovereignty um, come up a lot and we're really strong in meeting both of those requirements and therefore, by asking that question, um, it does play into, into one of the key strengths of the double solution, especially within a regulatory environment. The second question there, as you can see, is do you, you need to conduct rapid audits and investigations? And again, using the double technology, you're covered. Your ability to use real-time real -time, sorry, search to respond rapidly to audits and investigations is a key line of defense when it comes to actually um, being um, sure that you are remaining compliant. And then equally with the third question there, do you have the ability to monitor compliant breaches today? And absolutely through the double solution we can with the automatic surveillance and real-time alerts, the ability to actually get on the front foot and actually deal with those potential um, compliance breaches before they escalate becomes a, a really strong selling point. And then obviously that then ties into the fourth question, which is around what most um, compliance officers would see as part of their day job, which is obviously the ability to provide compliance reporting to regulators or management. And again, by, by we, our ability to do this is, is you know is pretty profound in our ability to do this automatically, but then also provide that using our kind of dashboards and obviously linking it through the through the products APIs. You can build some really powerful reporting tools as part of that delivery into the end customer base. So again, the key theme here is around the capture, the ease of access in terms of being able to actually access those calls, and then again, as I said, getting on the front foot with the possible compliance risk and resolution before it becomes a major issue within the organization that we're supporting. So that's a real kind of key theme, I guess, in terms of our, our first compliance question. Um, moving slightly broader, this is probably a, um, an area where the customer um, uh, needs to be taken on a bit of a journey, and therefore, this is also where the sales consultant needs to, needs to earn some of their corn, if you like. So the question here is really much more broad in terms of, um, would you like to be able to understand 
why callers are calling and their tone and sentiment in real time. And whilst it's slightly philosophical, and, and I think 99.9% you know, .9 of the time, the end um, customer would probably say yes, what we really need to do here is actually take them on their journey that allows them to navigate the decision-making process that gets them to that outcome. And therefore, the first question here would be, what if you were able to touch visibility of customer calls across all touch points, for example, desktop, mobile, uh, collaboration tools like Teams, WebEx, et cetera. And again, from Dubbo's unified call recording um, solution, absolutely you can do that. You can gain both the, the call traffic and, and the recordings, but also you can gain those deep customer insights on every call, regardless of the device or the employee location. Similarly, would you like to be alerted if real, in real time if a customer says they want to cancel their account? And again, most um, customers would like to know that, and therefore being able to set up keyword notifications really drives home that immediate ROI when it comes to the kind of the, the broader kind of use of, of Dubber within a within a corporate environment. And then the third question, which is a bit of a tease in terms of um, cost neutrality, if you like, um, do you conduct customer satisfaction reporting today, and how much do you spend? And would you like to eliminate those costs? And again, through our own kind of customer satisfaction reporting, we can automate that and eliminate the need for that kind of expensive, but also out of date research that often gets um, commissioned by mid-market and, and larger enterprises. So again, they're really kind of um, areas that kind of, you know, again, open up a broader conversation, but they all have real kind of, real kind of business needs and they have real kind of ROI um, attached to them as customers kind of, you know, look to, to get the value out of their voice data. The third question I wanted to spend a bit of time on, this is a, um, an area that Dubber has traditionally done really well in terms of being able to deliver value into SME and early mid-market. And the question here is really around the idea of being able to improve dispute resolution and obviously by association, the remediation of those, um, of those disputes. So the question here that we would typically look to ask is, do you need to rapidly access and search conversations for remediation of disputes and evidence of orders placed? So here, what we're looking at is really a, a theme of kind of accuracy and speed speed to access, if you like. So the first supplemental question there is, would you like to ac accurate re records of every conversation? And again, from a double perspective, every time this happens, automatically capture 100% of all calls to make sure you have a proof of what was said, ordered and committed. And again, you can see certain industries in particular that would see this as being really critical. So not only kind of um, in terms of broad SME, but also if you think about typical verticals here, logistics would be one, um, areas around wagering, anything to do with compliance driven conversations would see the accuracy of records and the immediacy of being able to access those is really compelling. And therefore, the second question also um, really resonates here. Would you like to be able to search those records in real time to speed up remediation? And again, I wouldn't underestimate um, how much pain SMEs and mid-market customers have in terms of that call um, transparency, but also, as I said, the immediacy of being able to resolve those problems be before they become actual kind of genuine disputes is really quite compelling. Um, on a slightly broader theme, but kind of continuing that, um, is, is this our area of improving productivity and, and staff performance. So obviously, you know, given what's happened in the world in the last sort of 12, 18 months, the, the hybrid environment is the norm. And therefore, um, the question that we're asking here is really around the visibility of work from home employee conversations so the the key word here is visibility um what we're trying to get across here is this ability to actually understand the kind of complexity of working from home whether it's hybrid in terms of um a couple of the days of the week in the office and the rest from home or whether it's different people with different scenarios and different devices and different expectations of what they've been asked to do the ability to have that visible and therefore actually support our, our staff members is really crucial and therefore the second question there around would you like to understand how your teams are dealing with difficult customer conversations for both training and coaching purposes is really compelling and therefore from a double perspective absolutely the ability to replay those calls for coaching and training is a really kind of strong indicator of being both a responsible employer but also really making sure that the the new world, new way of working becomes supported and therefore there's a, an efficiency dividend that comes with it as well as a kind of a quality dividend when it comes to actually training and coaching staff members. Similarly, when we look at the question there, would you like accurate records of every customer meeting? Um, through the, the Dubber app, um, which is available, you can also actually record face-to-face -face meetings and have that loaded up into your Dubber portal. Therefore, the ability to automatically create meeting notes from staff or customer meetings 
becomes a really useful secondary tool within the broader double solution. And then thirdly, would you like to eliminate the time spent manually entering customer conversation details into CRM, such as, for example, Salesforce? So um, from a double perspective, we have invested significantly over the, over the um, preceding years in productizing uh, our um, API, and therefore that works across multiple different CRMs. But also, more recently, we invested in a Salesforce Marketplace app, and therefore, the automation of those calls and those transcriptions can now be sitting directly into a Salesforce account. And therefore, A, that obviously gives transparency in terms of what's happened on the call, but also saves a heck of time in terms of being able to actually not having to manually transcribe or enter those details directly into Salesforce by a staff member. So again, um, a support dividend in terms of efficiency, but then as I said earlier, um, the visibility piece is really important in terms of making sure that we support staff members around dealing with customer conversations, but also, as I said, recognizing um, good behaviors and making sure that we elevate um, good behaviors and they become kind of areas or instruments of coaching. So again, really quite important when we kind of think about how to uncover the demand by looking at productivity and staff performance. The, <clears throat> the fifth question here, um, and we can't really not ask a, a kind of a finance motivated question because um, Dubber is, is really um, a native cloud solution. So there's kind of inherent uh, cost dividends, I guess is the word I'm looking for, that allows us to be really competitive when it comes to comparing like for like solutions. So the question here is, is, a, is a reasonably um, blunt one where we're saying, uh, would you like to be able to capture more calls while eliminating legacy call recording costs and other costs like customer research? So, um, what we're saying here really is, you know, a lot of our um, partners and their end customers, they would traditionally have, in some respects, the worst of both worlds in the sense that they're spending quite a lot of money on a legacy solution and only capturing some of the calls. And therefore, the, the transformative piece here is actually, well, you can capture all your calls and you can probably do it at a, at a much lower cost. And therefore, we need to make we need to make that point and impress it upon upon um, organizations and therefore the first kind of supplemental question there is can you cost effectively record 100 percent of your calls today and again from a double perspective yes absolutely it's infinite infinitely scalable in the cloud and you can capture as many calls as you need um how much do you currently spend uh, we're a true SaaS platform so there is no additional costs and by extension do you need to spend money on hardware services or maintenance costs. And again, from a double perspective, it really is a SaaS model. There is no um, additional cost. There is no kind of need to have engineers or additional licenses to run the program. And therefore we kind of make sure that that gets elevated in terms of any kind of cost component. And as I said before, um, it really is an area of strength along with um, all the other areas I've kind of mentioned in this section, um, the cost piece, the compliance piece around immediacy of, of search and, and the, Transparency of being able to kind of get records just in time as they are needed is, is pretty transformative. But then also when you back that up with the with the sovereignty and the and the privacy and the regulatory requirements that we meet, we make it a, a pretty compelling solution for the regulatory environments in particular. So there's just a, a few of the questions that we would typically advocate. As I said, we've got um, a whole raft of other materials that are available. Um, if you haven't registered for the Dubbo reseller portal, please do so. There's a whole raft of materials on top of these kind of slides that are accessible. Um, as I said, at the end of this session, um, because of time, we're going to send out um, the questions um, that have been asked and make sure that they get answered along with a follow-up to today's event. Um, but for now, I think what I'll do is I'll, I will stop here and... Um, as I said, do reach out to me individually if you need anything. Um, otherwise, we'll be in touch again. And I hope you enjoyed this webinar and um, look forward to seeing you on another webinar in the near future. Uh, have a good rest of the day and look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you.